In the ring, Paul London, getting ready for a very important matchup in this young man's career. He's gonna have his work cut out for him tonight as he steps into the ring with the very dangerous KG Sakota. That music can mean only one thing, a member of the dreaded Schwag Army heading to the ring, and its prized member for that matter, KG Sakota, accompanied by none other than the big Schwag. You know, Schwag lately has been costing uh, Sakota some matches, and this uh, Japanese dragon is about ready to breathe some fire. These two have almost come to blow on a number of occasions, but it seems that they've patched things up. KG prepared for this match with Paul London, and he better be. Paul Schwag, the proverbial found of misinformation, always has to shoot his fat, and I do mean fat, obese, and every other word you can think of, mouth off. But the bell rings, and we're set for action. Paul London apparently able to adapt some of the style of KG here. It looks like he's changed his in-ring gear a little bit. With some martial arts st uh, style attire. Both men lock up, and KG, showing his power, just shrugs off the challenge of Paul London early. We expect that. KG certainly has an edge in power in this matchup. Paul London more accustomed to the cruiserweight style of professional wrestling. Both men circling here, taking their time, a bit of a feeling out process. Both men calling elbow again and again. A dominant show of strength early by KG Sakota. Paul London, at this point in the match, he's got to rethink his strategy. He obviously can't match strength with Sakota. He's going to have to use that speed and agility and resourcefulness in the ring that we know of. And there, an example of it with a beautiful drop kick, all the way over the top, 360, one of his signature moves, now whipping KG Sakota in. Can he follow it up? Yes, he does. Big spin heel kick. But now, big swag showing, proving his purpose on the outside. He's got Paul London distracted, and Paul London unable to capitalize at that point. But now he's got KG in the corner. Lands a couple right hands, follows him in. Nobody home there. And Paul London hits nothing but that cold, unforgiving steal of the ring post. And now a big swag. This is ridiculous. On the outside, big clubbing forearms and sending Paul London back into the ring. KG Sakota now like a jungle cat, just ready to pounce on his prey here. And he is landing the kicks into his opponent, Paul London. See if he can follow it up, sends him in. KG with a big back elbow, really snapped it right into the face, side of the jaw of Paul London. And Paul London is down, and he looks to be in a bad way here. KG Sakota with a methodical pace, just looking to take this man apart. Hooks him up. Textbook vertical suplex and plants him soundly in the middle of the ring, going for the cover, hooks a leg, only gets a two count. You know this Paul London, he was trained in Texas by the Funks. This guy has got heart and he's got, he's got tenacity. It is not going to be easy to put him away in this match. KG sends him again. Paul London was too smart and too quick for that one. KG telegraphed the backdrop and he paid for it. Paul London now landing the kicks, but KG again showing his power. Hooked him there, cradled him, and takes him up and over with a suplex. And KG Sakota, to his credit, is right back on top of this matchup. But I don't agree with him here. You know, taking time, mouthing off with swag, mouthing off to the referee. He's got to stay on top of Paul London. Paul London, every bit a threat to KG's run here in UPW. KG Sakota now... Just kind of measuring Paul London. You might even say he's toying with him, and I don't think that that is smart strategy whatsoever. And he's paying for it now. Paul London with a forearm, but now caught again in a T-bone suplex, and KG Sakota takes him over again. KG just putting on a clinic when it comes to suplexes here in this matchup. And Paul London paying the price, trying to get into the corner, maybe get a catch a breather. But if I know KG Sakota, he's going to stay right on top of him. KG coming in. Nobody home there in the corner. Can Paul London uncork some offense? Up top uses the turnbuckles for leverage and connects with a beautiful flying head scissors. Paul London now, again, it worked once. Why not go to the well one more time? Again connects with a spin heel kick. And right now, Paul London starting to uncork the offense. Up on the shoulders of KG. Victory roll. He's got the legs hooked. Almost. We were an eyelash away of Paul London getting the upset victory. But KG getting out of there. 
Paul London with a big swing and a miss. He's had a lot taken out of him by those suplexes and other maneuvers. Big swag up on the ringside apron, getting a little too close to the action. He took a double kick right to the chest. And now Paul London going for the cover. KG Sakota, he's been in this game for quite some time, knows where he is in the ring at all times, and he got the foot on the rope. If not, this thing could have been over. Paul London thought he had this match won, and he's got to start thinking, what is it going to take to put away the Japanese assassin? KG flips him up and over. Paul London now. Boot to the midsection, going for perhaps a Hurricane Rana. But KG catches him in a power bomb, scoops him up again, and a second. Now he's going to hook him up. He calls this maneuver the three-headed dragon. He was going to end it there with a Death Valley driver, but I think uh, Paul London had it well scouted. Got his weight into the front of KG Sakota. KG just rolls through there. Almost a modified fireman's carry slam by Sakota. Going for the cover, but the referee is, is distracted. Big Schwag is not helping out his man whatsoever, and again, it's this type of action by the swag that has led to some dissension in the ranks. Sakota could have had the three count, you gotta believe, but Big Swag now, for some reason, is attempting to enter the ring. And I hope that this ring has been specially reinforced as we, we got some tonnage in there now. What is Swag doing? Looking for the roaring elbow. Nobody home, and now Paul London hooks him up, and he gets the three count. And again, the big swag cost his man a victory. What was he thinking about getting into the ring? Paul London with a hard-earned victory. And thanks to the big swag with the distraction play, oddly enough, Paul London gets the win. And Sakota hot on the trails of his manager, but maybe not for long.